now let's learn how to use the ruler tool. And first for this I need to add a couple of primitives. So I'm going to add uh, a box here and I'm going to add another one that's right up next to it. There we go. And for this uh, tool there's actually nothing up on the toolbars for it. So I'm actually going to have to use the shortcut R by just typing the letter R on my keyboard. And this will bring up the ruler tool. And you'll notice that now I have um, a ruler here. So now I'm going to just move this into a place and click it at a point that's between these two objects. And then I'm going to click on my the object that I'm actually going to move. I have three axes of movement that I can move. And so I'm going to move it in, in this direction here. And I can change this by clicking that number there and specifying a, a certain number if I want to move it to a, a specific distance. Now notice I'm going to rotate it around so it's easier to see but I can change what it's measuring to. So right now it's measuring from this point outside here to this edge here. I can change that to measure to the midpoint of my square or I can measure it to this edge right here. I know it's kind of backwards but it's actually measuring the maximum distance here. So I can change this. Right now it's at 5. Notice it's a negative value. If I change it to a negative 20 then it's going to move it further apart there. If I change it to a positive 20, it's going to move it to the left. And now, because of the sizes of them, it's exactly the same. And so, uh, I'm going to undo that. So now we have these placed a certain distance, distance apart. And I can, I can always press the Enter button, or I can um, just click that little green check mark to exit out of my um, using the tool. Um, Another way that we can use this tool is actually to do the opposite, to bring two objects together. So I'm going to again press R to grab my keep the uh, grab the ruler tool, and I'm going to click the object I want to move. And I'm actually going to select the max distance. So now it's measuring from here to here, and I'm going to change that from negative 20 to zero. So now they should be right up next to each other. Press my green check mark or press the Enter button and now I have two that are right up next to each other. Now the one thing I did want to mention is that the ruler tool can only be used um, to snap, snap to the grid or to a 3D object. You can't actually use the ruler tool against um, sketches. So just note that. I also want to very quickly show you, you may already know this, but I want to show you how to use your copy, paste, and cut commands. So these are very similar to using in Microsoft Word or other applications. There's no tool for it, so we're, again, we're going to use the keyboard. Um, in order to copy an object, I'm just going to use Control C, and that's going to. I got to select my object, Control C. That's going to copy my object, and then when I use Control and V, it's going to paste a new object, but it's going to paste it right on top of that first object. So if I actually want to see it. Then I got to move the first one out of the way and place it um, so that I can actually see the new pasted object.